welcome back to my channel guys so today i wanted to do a video um kind of wrapping up the end of june so i feel like june came and gone and i feel like this was such a short month to say the least i feel like yesterday was just june 1st or june 2nd but i wanted to hop on here and kind of update you guys so earlier this month, I mentioned that I was using both the um, A5 notebook in here and then this 6x9 journal. So I've been using them both together. Um, this one has been more of like decorations and like journaling along with tracking and personalized things dedicated specifically to me. And this has been like my household management, um, appointments, also things dedicated to me, but mainly just things that I usually take care of around the house or that revolves around the house and myself. So earlier this month, um, I was leaning more towards this notebook, to be honest with you. And I say that because I was just so used to what I was doing in here. Um, but over the course of, you know, this past month, I've kind of found that it's really hard to keep up with some of the things that I was doing in here, like all of uh, the sheets that I've glued in, the decorations, the, the layouts, the elaborated layouts. So I just felt like this was very time consuming and though I don't have anything against what I've done in here, nor do I regret what I've done in here, it just simply was a lot of time. This past week has been really busy from Monday to today. I still have quite a few things to do on my to-do list, but I wanted to sit down and film this video to give you guys a better understanding of where my uh, system is leaning more towards. So we'll set this one to the side first and we'll go ahead and do a flip of June in here. So um, like I mentioned, I was in here for two months. I did go ahead and set up July in here, though as I think about it more and more each day, I really just want to use one notebook and just rock with that. I've also been playing around with digital uh, spreads and things like that. I really want to get back into that along with using it with my paper because sometimes it's just so much more convenient to have things on your phone when you always have your phone on you. Um, so yeah, that's just another thing. But let's go ahead and jump into it. So in this journal, um, as you can see, you're going to see a lot of different glue-ins this month. I didn't really paint much of anything um, for June, mainly because I just didn't have time to sit down and paint. And towards the end of the month, I really didn't have time to sit down and color in these sheets either. So you'll start to see a little bit of that. So this was June's cover page and my June monthly. And then this is the tracker that I use for June. So in the beginning, I kind of messed this tracker up just a little bit. Um, I kind of had to cover up some stuff, though you can't tell, but originally this was written out all wrong. Um, and so far, what I can see from my tracker, I was very consistent um, this month. A lot of things that I had set for myself, um, I mostly did, but there are things on here that I just did not do, and you'll see that. So um, this is the first week of June, and these are the dailies. I was doing a lot of um, fill-ins. So in these margins, I was filling in things that happened during the day. Um, and that was cool. That was pretty cool. But... Uh, Throughout the month, you'll see that it just kind of stops. So I was doing it a lot. I was using a lot of icon stickers a lot. And the icon stickers do help me, but I use them more now uh, as I think about it in the other bullet journal than I do in here. Um, and that's the end of week one's dailies. And then this is the first week's 
uh, overview, weekly overview. And then this is my sleep tracker for the month. So this month, my sleeping was way off. Um, so this lighter blue color is my sleep. And this darker blue color is like the time that I was awake and then yellow was napping. So I didn't really have a whole lot of naps. You do see like little pieces of yellow in there, but not so much. Um, so for the most part, as you can see and as I can see just from looking at this, I have stayed up really late, went to bed really late, got little to no sleep but I was awake for a majority of the day. So that's something that I wanna work on. Um, a lot of it has been from the simple fact that I've had allergies really bad and I didn't feel great. And then I've had a lot of things to do in the house and around the house. Um, and then these past couple of weeks, I've been uh, working on getting into school. So I'm still doing stuff for that. So my sleep pattern is way, way off. And then this was week one's journaling. And as you can see, and I think I did a flip of this already, but if you're new to my channel, hi and welcome. But this is week one's journaling. So you'll see a lot of collaging, um, a lot of tip-ins, like this is a tip-in. Um, this was probably the only painting that I took time to actually sit down and uh, thoughtfully paint out um, but this kind of like decorating this did not last um, I found it very time-consuming but I thought it was beautiful for what it stood for um, but you'll see like a lot of collaging I ended up having to laminate some of these paintings um, and collages with packing tape like this one got laminated with packing tape this one in the end got laminated with packing tape because the glue just would not help as much um, but yeah and then I did a lot of writing in the beginning and you'll start to see that change so somewhere after the first week I really wanted to get back on track with working out and I'm just gonna be honest with you, it flopped. Uh, I did not do well with working out this month. In the beginning, I started strong with four days and then the second week I did like a couple of days and then it just slowly just fell off and then it was zero days. Um, so I've struggled tremendously with this. Um, and if you follow my pregnancy journey, you know that um, part of the reason why I wanted to work out was to lose weight so that I could carry a healthy baby because for my height, I'm just a little bit too overweight. And um, also, uh, it's just really not comfortable carrying the extra weight than plus having you know, like a baby that you're gonna be, you know, delivering, having that extra weight too. So a, a lot of it was for me personally, but um, I've just struggled getting back into the routine. I had a routine months ago, I think January, I started working out and I was doing it consistently and then it just fell off. And I actually got my radiology results back and they did find something um, but I'm not going to disclose it because I kind of want to wait till I get the second ultrasound, which is the saline ultrasound um, in July. So once I get that, I will kind of update you all on my pregnancy journey. But as you can see here, this is my workout calendar. It flopped. I, I just stopped checking it off. Uh, I do need to just keep checking it off. I've just kind of been using it as a regular calendar. Over here, I had these three meal planning stickers and these were just some general things that I could eat for like breakfast, lunch, and um, snacks and stuff. But I kind of just did not follow it at all. Like it just didn't work. Um, I think this is the third week, second week. Yeah, this is the second week in July and or June. And I didn't share this. I don't think I shared it um, on my on my channel yet. But this is the second week of June. 
and I used a kit, a Cinderella kit that was given to me in Happy Mail. And I use these little boxes here. I use them specifically what I ate during the day. Um, a lot of what I was trying to do was keep a food journal and also keep track of things that I had to do. Um, but I didn't want to create a different spread for that or I didn't know how to incorporate a different spread for that because that essentially just takes up more space. Um, but I've all, I already used like a list system so I really didn't need these check boxes for anything so I thought that they would be perfect for what I used them for um but ultimately in the end I just didn't like the spread um I'd rather just have this very clean and simple but that's what the second week of June looked like then I went in and I added this brain dump page which was supposedly a list of YouTube ideas that I could potentially film for you all. However, as I was uh, uploading a whole lot the past two weeks, um, a lot of the videos that I either uploaded or filmed to upload, I just didn't personally like them. I felt like I should just stick to my regular schedule of like, usually uploading at least one or two times out the week and doing most of my uploading and updates on Instagram because honestly, it's the same stuff. Nothing has changed in my system. So I didn't want to bore you guys. I didn't want to keep my channel somewhat interesting um, for you all. Um, if you do find it interesting, I do want to do that. But other than that, um, I just, yeah, I, I'm going to calm down with the constant uploads like four times a week. I tried that out last week and I found that, yeah, it just wasn't for me. Um, uh, dailies, these are daily spreads. I think this is what, the second week? Second week of dailies, I tried a stamping tool with roses and uh did not like where I put it. So yeah, but in it, I mean, in the end, it was what it was. Um, so yeah, these are the dailies. And then these are the journaling pages for that second week. And as you can see, really no paintings went, went into here. I did paint something like mediocre, uh, just some birds. I just, it took me like three tries to paint this because each time that I painted it, I just didn't like it or I went outside the lines or the brush didn't work right for me. So I was having a bad paint day, but this one was semi-decent, so I put it in there anyway. Um, and then I just got lazy with painting. Like I said, it was very time consuming and I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time um, focusing on putting decorative elements in here when I had so much other stuff to do. So I started gluing in um, these little rose uh, type sheets. And so the painting was not only time consuming and also the fact that uh, the cleanup process was a little time consuming. I found coloring in uh, these little roses were also very time consuming too. So, um, I don't know if I'll do this in my next journal. And honestly, I don't even know if I'll stay in this journal um, too much longer because as I'm thinking about it, I just kind of want to take a break from um, this journal and just try out something else for right now. Um, so yeah, I was doing this for a while, still journaling. And then this was last week's uh, weekly spread. So. I kind of jumped away from using the typical vertical weekly spread and did these boxes, these vertical boxes, which actually isn't a weekly insert. It's just a regular um, insert that I'm also using for my monthly reflection this time around. But yeah, I just went and decorated it. I really liked uh, this scheme, though I wish that when I use these little like, I don't know, banner thingies. I wish that I would have put the date numbers like somewhere right there over the little flag. That's what they're called, flags. 
Um, but other than that, I thought it was pretty uh, nice. And then I uh, glued this here because I didn't want to start Monday on this side. I have a thing with starting uh, the week, like the dailies that I do. I have a thing with starting the dailies on this side versus this side. I don't know. I just really prefer it to be on this side versus the other. And this was last week's dailies. So what I did for uh, leftover scraps, I'm all about using what you have, um, especially when you don't have a lot of something. So instead of just throwing these away, I glued them down at the bottom of the page as if it was washi tape. And um, anytime this month that I had uh, something significant going on, I used the second side of the page or like a small column that I could put like notes in. And I've been doing that for the past two months now. So I do like this. So I will continue to do that in any journal that I'm in. And then I glued in this page here. So I, I'm assuming that this is either B5 or A5 size, or not B5, B6 or A5 size. I'm not really sure what size it is, but it's pretty large. Um, and what I did is just cut it in half and used one half and tipped it in as like a divider between like the daily and the journaling. Um, it does add a lot more bulk because it is like a thicker card stock, but it was also really pretty because it has these hollow bows on it. And so I just really wanted to use this. I really wish that the hollow bows was also on this side or if this side was hollow too. But um, yeah, so I mean, I just did what I, what I thought would be nice. And then this uh, was this particular week's journaling. I started to break it up a little bit. Um, you'll start to see that I kind of fell off with most of my journaling. I usually journal every day, but when I have a really, really busy day, what ends up happening is these pages get left behind and I go back and fill them in. So um, usually when I was setting up my dailies and weekly spreads, I was pre-dating these. And so what I'm finding now is that instead of dating them, just leave them blank. And if I come back to it, I come back to it. If not, I don't. And then I can just fill the page with something else other than journaling. So um, that's the only thing that I would say has really not been like sufficient for June. And then here we are on this week. And I've already kind of did like a flip, like a mini flip of this. And a recent video I posted this this week, but um, really all it is is I use a project plan sheet to write out a weekly goal, um, something important that I wanted to note, and also my weekly tasks. I do have quite a bit to check off. Like I mentioned, I've been really, really busy this week, so I haven't had a chance to really sit down and check off things. We had to go grocery shopping and I just recently finished the list for that. So um, I've been kind of behind on a lot of my tasks and checking off things. So I'm just, I'm trying to catch up. Um, and then the meal planning sheet. Originally, my plan was to have this filled out already for the entire week. However, with what's been going on, the fact that we needed to go grocery shopping, it hasn't been able to get completely filled out. So what I've just been doing is filling in these boxes as I go. So I haven't had a real plan for what we're eating. I've just kind of been winging it for the past couple of days. And as you can see, I don't know if you can read that, but Wednesday we had breakfast because we literally had nothing in our freezer to eat. Um, so we had some eggs, we had some bread, and we had some ham and some cheese. And so um, oh, and we also had some potatoes. So what I did is I chopped the potatoes up, made some hash browns, um, also some cheese, cheese eggs with uh, little pieces of ham in them, and some French toast, and that was breakfast uh, or dinner. <laughs> uh, this little uh, page that I created here, this page was specifically for what I've ate this week. 
So I've been filling it in consistently with what I've ate. I think that it does well when it's right next to like the meal planning sheet. Um, I kind of want to get to a point where I can put both on the same sheet, but or at least side by side. So I think that if I am to do this again, I will definitely do it side by side next time. And then here we are with this week's dailies. This was Monday. Monday, um, I was really busy. I didn't get a chance to really do anything that I wanted to. I did, however, get a chance to upload a video for you all that I was kind of filming in the midst of everything else that I was doing. I wish it was like more of my day that I could have shown you, but I was just so focused on getting uh, some paperwork done to attend school because I will be attending school hopefully by Ju July 6th. Uh, if not, hopefully the next week after. And also, I've been working with um, my OBGYN to get like my pregnancy, um, you know, going and all this other stuff. So I'm doing a lot of things. So I have just not had time to do anything. Um, also, this week has just been really simple, really just, you know, straightforward and straight to the point. I didn't really have time to do anything frilly. So, I mean, I just went in and filled in like the water that I've been drinking because I've been drinking a, like a lot of water. Um, so this was Wednesday. This is today. Again, these pages are blank for a reason because I just didn't have time to sit down here and draw out a border and actually as I'm thinking about it now I just really prefer a book without a border I think that if I am to start like a new journal um uh, essentially I just won't do um I won't do borders like I don't know if I have any that I've done a border for I won't do borders like this anymore because this just allows me freedom um and then I glue this page in here. I didn't really have any journaling for this particular day and I didn't even start Monday on it. So I put this quote in here that I found off of Google. It just says, in the end, we only regret the chances we didn't take. I thought that resonated with me um, with some things in my life, my current life. So um, yeah, I put that in there. Um, another thing that I considered time consuming for the month of June is doing these kind of spreads although this is very beautiful and you know it adds character to the to the journal itself it's so time consuming just sitting there and coloring in you know these different elements it did take me quite a few days to complete it but i got it done um i do find that doing this uh along with journaling and all that other stuff i do find that this is very therapeutic and also just opens up your mind to different things that you might want to accomplish for yourself. Um, things that you might be feeling, whether that be emotionally. Um, so yeah, I do find that this is therapeutic, though I will not do it too, too often because it's just too time consuming. And I am a wife and I do have um, things that I have to adhere to. So I will probably not do this as often. My journaling, it picked back up, but it's still, you know, like I just haven't had time to really journal either this week. So I went back and filled in these days. And um, yesterday I was meaning to go back and fill in some other stuff, but I just didn't get a chance to do so. So it is what it is. Um, and then this last page here that I glued in, is a page that I'm using specifically for June's reflections. All it says is what worked this month, what did not work this month, and um, improvements for the following month and goals for the next month. So I can kind of just sit here and brainstorm a couple of things. I did kind of do like July in here. I'm not exactly thrilled with this. Uh, originally it was just supposed to be the beach, you know, um, background, but I kind of cut it too short and I thought to overlay it over like this foil paper. And so I did that, but then it wouldn't stick. And so, um, I laminated it with packing tape. And then after I did that, 
it just didn't look right because as you can see there's little uh, air bubbles in it so I just really was not thrilled with how this turned out in the end so I ended up writing at the top and putting July in air and trying to mask things that I didn't like like the little imperfections with uh, stickers and yeah I'm glad that this is a one and done situation because um, I can just flip the page on it this is July I went and set up July it's not finished um, I'm keeping it very basic very simple in here I did put a July tracker in here that I've yet to fill out I am continuing to use the sleep tracker I really like the sleep tracker that I used for June um, and then also the weekly is very basic and plain and then that's it so this little uh, month um, of inserts that I have in here took up about where are we on the scale it took up about this much of my notebook and I'm finding that that's because of a lot of things that I glued in and tipped in but as you can see and I'm gonna try to sit the pages that I've already used up as you can see this is where my journal is today it's very thick and just heavily used and it is kind of a little bit more heavier than um, than it originally was when I first got it. And also on top of that, um, I'm almost halfway into this notebook. And this is an 800 page notebook, mind you. So I'm like halfway through it. And I just feel like by the time July is over, I'm going to be about and I've just been estimating for myself, I'm going to be about right there. And that's going to put me almost right here and if I do another month then I will be right about there so a lot of blah, 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 I can't talk a lot of me is just you know looking into using something else right now I know it's not ideal to jump out of a notebook and into another notebook I do want to finish this one out but a, a lot of me is just like I don't know I just kind of gotten bored with it um, and I just really want to try something else out for the time being I did order some new pens like I said I do have a digital journal that I would like to try out and use um, we'll jump straight to um, June the beginning of June I've already shown like the um, flip for this but if you're new to my channel I'll just go over it again June turned out to be in here a very productive month for me I kept all of the weeklies together as you can see and I use them a lot um, I haven't filled this one out yet um, but I did use them a lot I kept the basic basic uh, system in here with the check box or the check marks the X's the forwarding arrows drawing lines through things tipping in or putting in sticky notes if I had to um, I kept a lot of this very simple I used a lot of stickers to indicate something like a meeting or if something was canceled or if I had an appointment I used a lot of that or like a phone call so when I was mentioning that I use a lot of icon stickers to signify something that's what I was mentioning is I use them in this bullet journal because it just works um, because this is such a straightforward system I actually enjoy using this system more so than the other bullet journal and that's specifically why I wanted to try out this notebook along with that one because I wanted to see which one I gravitate towards most um, one of the things that made me so happy with being in my ring planners was that the system in there was just straightforward I had everything that I needed and I didn't really have to think too hard for what I needed to do or what I wanted to do in there. It was all laid out for me. Um, and here, I do have to set up the pages, but it's a basic, simple layout. And I'm not really uh, mad at it. I really enjoy just seeing generally what I have to do. I find myself carrying this um, around the house, even though it is a five size and it is a thicker notebook. I do genuinely enjoy using it and enjoy filling it out um, more so because I just like to see things 
um, for what they are. So all of my tasks, all of the things that I need to do, I just generally, um, genuinely like to see them at a glance. Um, so yeah, I liked it so much that I went in and followed through with that same type of layout and system for July. I didn't really change the system at all. As time goes on, I will add other things in here, use other things, but I really just liked the simple uh, layout of this and just really enjoyed using it. My notes section has remained the same, so I have still been, you know, writing a grocery list in here, ideas, meal ideas, um, phone conversations that I have, things that I need to do, um, notes that I've taken from phone calls, uh, just a lot of things. I did like a YouTube project brainstorming sheet, um, my degree plan, I had a phone call with one of my admission reps and I just kind of took those notes and laid out what I needed to do here. I did another grocery list in here. I did another phone call conversation. Um, and some more stuff uh, pertaining to school. So yeah, I mean, this notebook, I feel like if I continue to use it like the way that I'm using it, I feel like this will take me to the end of the year. Um, I feel like it's just enough space in here to take me to the, to the end of the year and still have uh, leftovers. But other than that, um, my systems have been great this month. And after doing my little experiment that I was doing, I just really prefer to be in here versus here. I will uh, probably do the first week of July in here and probably keep with the tracker, the sleep tracker. But I think the that is like the only thing that I'm going to do. I don't think that I'm going to move forward with the rest of the weeks or the dailies or anything like that. I think that I will just stick with the first week just to say I, I completed that part of it and then I'll just solely be in here. I really want to get into digital um, planning. I really enjoyed that too. Um, but yeah, guys, as time goes on, I will keep you guys updated on my systems. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you would like to subscribe, please go ahead and subscribe. Your support is always appreciated. So that's all that I have for you. And yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next planner video. Bye.